Remember me when you're the one who's silver screened. Remember me when you're the one you always dreamed. Remember Welcome back to the Fox at 6 o'clock Rockport. I'm Garth Ross along with Tim Morgan and joining us in studio are Brian, Stefan, and Steve from Placebo Guys. How are you? Good. Good. Hi. Good. 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 Great. Great to have you guys back in Vancouver. How long Just has it been since you were here last? About two and a half years. Rock show. Come chat to the fans afterwards. Hang out, have a few drinks. It's cool. How are we doing tonight? Uh, we're like 55 away from the cell, I think. Okay, what's the capacity? Uh, 600. 600? 580, 600 right 605, now. 605, Yeah, depending on the guest list. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's gonna be rammed then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be sweaty. I'd be interested to know that a month ago we were at the Tony Garnier in Lyon, 16,500. And now we're in, at Graceland. Graceland, 605. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the good old days, huh? Back in 1997 to now, we're on this great tour bus. The surroundings have improved. That, that, that's 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 so true. Um, that's, it's a little bit more luxurious. And, uh, it's a wider wider bus, right? Yeah. Well, this thing actually moves. It's fun. Yes, it's hours of fun. Hey. <laughs> We spent a long time kind of getting a really good team around us, getting people that, that we feel really close to, that we can trust, you know, and that, and that we have a laugh with on tour. So um, our crew, you know, is, is, is really important to us. Can't stop growing. Love you, baby. Oh, what? No, that is brilliant. It's, it's cool, isn't it? It's a big... What's the reaction been like to uh, to the most recent record, Sleeping with Ghosts? It's um, it's been the best reaction so far, really. Um, I think pretty much on a on a worldwide level, and uh, it's kind of it, it feels very vindicating. It feels kind of like you know, ten years of. Real, real hard work is, is starting to pay off, you know. Um, but it's, it's doing better than anything we've done before, so we're quite okay. happy, you know. <laughs> nice to have it finally pay off. Huh? Yeah. I flew in this morning. I'm leaving from Auckland just to say hello to you and to give you the open at the end. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to be a doctor. Um, last time I saw her was was this year. She turned up, couldn't get to see the gig in Germany. We did it. I think it was Stuttgart. But she, but um, she met me in the bus afterwards and handed me a bottle of um, vintage whiskey and went, "I'm I'm off down to South Africa to do um, six weeks AIDS research." I was like, "Okay." She went, "Do you want anything from Africa?" I went, "Well, you know, figure AIDS would be great." And then in the post, so eight weeks later, it's all this African stuff is sent for the post. Just going, yeah, there you go. What do you reckon? I went, something well for my mantelpiece to be great. <laughs> no, she's brilliant. There's lots of preparation, but we, you know, it's kind of uh, um, we, we do give a fuck. So uh, we, we have to get up there. We have to get psyched, pumped.
rock. It's so cool it's having them so here. close. You know? You're giving it. You're giving I'm it. I'm enjoying so. it. Yeah. Oh, sorry about bulletproof when I stepped on your mute pedal. It's really it's, that. It's, it's, it's really the size. The stinks did on the distortion as well. For, it did, yeah. yeah. I was driving along the American highways and I stopped for a piss and this badger came up to me and I gave him a really hard, well, he was, he was pestering me, he started to bite my leg and stuff. So I took him and I bit his head off to the blood still in my teeth. And then he got really pissed off and like his last spasms before he died, he fucking scratched my face. See you later, babe. <laughs> um, it's been so refreshing. It's been like learning the ropes again. Thanks, guys. See ya. Somehow it suits you. <laughs> 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 just to cram everything that's like typically French and Parisian into one space, like the Pont Neuf under the fucking Eiffel Tower. That just looks like Brighton to me. A black pool. Au revoir. Au revoir. You're from Italy? Uh, from London. Uh, London. London. Yeah. I think that if we weren't in a rock band, we'd probably be very frustrated and like, you know, down doing karaoke and drag somewhere, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's so, so it's, it's just allowed us to sort of be ourselves, you know, and to, to embrace the freedom that being in a rock, rock band allows you to have, you know? It's, and I think that's really important because, you know, you have a, you have an opportunity that, uh, that's pretty special, so, so grab it, embrace it, you know, okay. with a bear hug, you know? Tim from Millionaire, a really, really, uh, really cool. And um, yeah, Jesse's kind of, he's, he's new on the scene. This is like his fifth or sixth sort of like rock gig, I guess. But, uh, so that helps, the sort of a convivial family sharing atmosphere. My two legs on the barrier. Mm. People are unzipping my fly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's why you said they're fruity here. Yeah, because if they if they manage to do that, I'll get arrested for indecent I, exposure. Yeah, yeah. No matter, it, I don't think it matters if if you get it out, if you get it out, or if they get it out, <laughs> if it's out. You have to get OJ's lawyer on that one. Fire and bait. Right. See you there at seven. Feel that? Right. I'll be your water, bathing you clean with liquid peace. I'll be your. 
this tour coming up, we're going to places like Vegas we've, that we've never been, so it's still a continued sort of experience. Um, but I think at the moment, Australia really sort of, it's nice down there in summer. It's kind of chilled out, you know. We've had some good, you know, really good times down there, so. Mexico's good as well. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. good for us though. Yeah, Mexico's kind of, it's a bit Beatlemania-esque down in Mexico, so. But there's still uh, places to discover, really. Beauty on the Found it. Stop moaning, not you as well. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen you drink beer in my life. Oh, it tastes so good. It's the first time I've ever seen you do that. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> so zoom in on those nipples. Oh, How dare you? I didn't, Go my finger's not on the zoom, it's alright. How good is that? I want one. That's so cool. Yeah, we all have this. Oh my god. We do like this robot. In my crib, I got my bitches. Woo! It's bitch number one. I don't know what name because I don't need to. Be a little ACDC. Cover my pants for It's what I like to call my fridge. <laughs> It's all my pansy shit. Woo! What the fuck was your elbow? And this is my bed. Your bedroom? Yeah. What's in there, motherfucker? That's my do not use room. Woo! That's do not I, use! That's when I go in when I'm supposed to do stuff. I'm supposed to do stuff. Do not use! Yeah. Keep your shoes up there? Yeah, and I'm not supposed to do that either. Woo! I have to do what I want away from Ooh. my parents. What about your cooking over there? Yeah, well, I haven't figured out how to use it yet because they gave me a cooker without the hop. Shambon! Shambon, motherfucker! Yeah. Push-ups on the niggas and... <laughs> and whiskers on kidneys. <laughs> Brown paper packages and golden cock rings. These are few of my favorite things. <laughs> Actually, I came in today and I said, Lisa, can you give me a black eye? And she made this. I'm gonna crash these fuckers. <laughs> I wanna go see some Blair Witch Project. I see no hair. You said it? Yeah. <gasps> Beck, Beck. Oh my god. 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 I heard something. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Metallica. Yeah, Metallica's coming. Metallica's coming. Oh no. I can hear them. I can hear them in the bushes. Skid airport moment. Yeah, it's yeah. a moment. It's a moment. But it's a moment we've been savoring. I'm having one of my moments. Yeah. <laughs> Last night I was hanging out with, with the Eagles of Death Metal. The singer Jess has got a really bad mustache, and I hate mustaches. And once before at my party, in my flat in London, this guy had a mustache, and I said, you can't have a mustache in my, in my flat, so I actually shaved it off. So yesterday I was trying to do the same thing to Jesse, but he, didn't, he wouldn't have any of it, so he kind of just took the razor and slashed it.
I was fucking, so I was bitching in Mexico. Woo! Incendio, I think that means it's incendiary. It's like it put put it on fire. Yeah, incendiary. Yeah. Apparently, bitter end makes me provokes me to be very abrasively sensual with uh, with my guitar. And then we went down with the crowd, and you could see. We went down on the crowd. Well, yes, that too. <laughs> I don't really know. It's good. The first time we arrived in Mexico it was a real shock. Yeah. You know, just you know, the doors just opened and fans just exploded and we were like, what? <laughs> We've never been here before. This is insane. Oh you're very handsome stick. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> I'm pregnant, four months. <laughs> yeah. Yells with his eyes. We're gonna call it Corona. I just, yes. I just want to say for the record that I have never ever slept Brand, with this man. I love you. I love you. Come to Jean Cocteau once said, "A little bit too much is just enough for me," <laughs> and I agree with him. Too much, too much of a good thing is simply wonderful. Talking rock and roll. Oh. Hey. 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 Relax. Why am I You on camera, baby? Little <laughs> chap, pale blue. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! He's a sport. Come on, Zola, bud! Let's go, Zola! Still running. I heard the first time you were here, actually. I think you ran after the car. He ran halfway across Mexico City <laughs> to find us. Hopefully, you don't get run over. <laughs> Gracias. Adiós. 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 Okay. Adiós, amigos. Since that great first experience, we've just loved coming here, and uh, and that's why we wanted to come to more more towns in uh, in Mexico. It's the disease of the age. I'm just happy that we're still enjoying writing music together. And what we're coming up with is, is stuff that we're happy with and we don't feel like repeating ourselves. And we're still getting along as people. You know, that we can still go on, uh, on tour for about 10 months a year and, and still enjoy it and, and get along and put on good shows. Protect me from what I want. Protect me from what I want. Protect me from how far away are we from Mexico City? Oh, five hours. Five hours. On road. Okay. We're gonna be playing a mixture. We're just gonna try and, and rock you guys and, uh, as much as possible to uh, to, to to give you uh, an emotional, soulful. A uh, roller coaster ride, right. you know. Right, right. <laughs> That's kind of what we're gonna try and do. You ready for tonight? How was it for you guys? Is it good? Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. The crowd seemed really up for it. The crowd was, yeah. It's a perfect crowd. It's really weird for us because we came from San Francisco and we played it in front of like 600 people, you know, and now in front of fucking 30. 40,000. You know? 40, <laughs> it's the same for us, man. It's like a, it's like it's take a, a, taking a jump from a bungee. Like you're on the edge already. And yeah. just you don't you don't know what's gonna be like until you're on stage. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I still have my voice.
boys, just about. So. Here you go, boys. Fucking Mexico City, 30,000. Fucking love this van. It's oh, a well, Fucking beautiful fucking van. Cool.